how can you prevent uh, the development of moles and melanoma? So it's, it's really quite simple and I know that there's a lot of campaigning in the news and, um, and otherwise uh, on how to protect your skin from the sun and that's really what it boils down to and it's taking the right sun precaution uh, measures um, and it's three simple things. One is keeping yourself uh, in the shade. If you can't keep yourself in the shade then it's wearing protective clothing with a white brimmed hat, long sleeves um, and then uh, you would think about applying a sunblock which is the third level of protection um, and, uh, and one that doesn't 100% protect you from, from sun damage um, and that's really important to say because a large number of people, we know the majority of people don't really apply enough sunblock and they don't apply it often enough um, uh, to make a, a, a difference actually uh, because the, um, the level of sun protection that's, that it says on the bottle is not the same that you get when you put it on your skin if you're not applying enough or you're not reapplying it every two hours or after you're swimming um, and things. Um, but you're really wanting to avoid those, those really intense um, uh, bursts of, of sun exposure. Clearly you want to be avoiding the use of sunbeds because that uh, is a major risk factor in melanoma. Uh, but say that you've already got those moles, um, you've already got a level of sun damage. Um, it's really, really important that you check your moles on a regular basis. And it's important that you are aware that you might have a slightly higher risk of, of problems with melanoma than, um, than the next person who doesn't have that level of moles. So um, in those cases, I would recommend um, regular uh, checking of your moles and your skin in general. So when you say regular, how, what does that mean? How often? Um, what I mean by regular is actually uh, the, uh, uh, at the very uh, minimal and basic level is actually checking your own moles. Um, and you can do that as often as you like, of course, but I wouldn't go overboard with it. Um, and uh, we say that it only takes about 10 minutes every month uh, to, to check your moles and really to check your skin. And it could be as soon as you've come out of a shower, um, you could have a mirror at the front, a mirror at the back, and you just have a look at your skin um, and check um, your pre-existing moles and you're checking really for, for changes in size, shape or color. Are they, um, are they asymmetric? Has their border changed? Um, are they two or three different colors? Um, have they increased in size? Um, and if you think they have, then you need to actually uh, see an expert um, about them. Um, but uh, you're looking at your moles, uh, you're checking your moles, but also you're checking for any new pigmented things that, you know, whether that's a mole or not, something that's, that may be changing or new. And you could do that either while getting into the habit of checking your skin in front of a mirror, um, uh, Per, uh, just purely um, with that or you could do that with the help of pictures and we've all got smartphones nowadays so you could take pictures um, of different parts of your body um, akin to what we would do in clinic um, and have a reference of those pictures so that you then have a definite objective um, uh, knowledge as to whether your moles has cha have changed or if there's something new. Uh, so that's one way of checking your moles and then obviously we can check your moles um, and we would do that in a, in a similar way but clearly with um, a different level of experience and with a specific um, lens known as a dermatoscope and that's a very powerful lens um, that magnifies everything by at least 20 times uh, but also it tells us a lot about whether um, a mole is changing if you're not sure um, whether something could be more than a mole um, and it could even tell us that perhaps something that you're worried about is nothing to worry about um, and it gives it actually gives us an idea of the signature of your moles because the same well the different moles on the same individual might look alike so lots of ways of checking your moles really. But the basic thing is to, the, the first level is to start by checking your own skin. If you notice that you have any of the symptoms or the conditions that we've just discussed, we invite you to book a consultation with Ms. Penelope Pratsu, where she'll be able to assess your condition and give you a treatment plan.